If you have a problem with your windows fogging up in your Tesla, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how to deal with the heating, ventilation, and air conditioning system in your Tesla. Specifically, how to fix a problem that I'm seeing quite a bit online and on social media with people reporting that their windows are fogging up. This is the second winter I've had my Model X and uh, much like you, some of you are new. When I first got my car last year, I had constant problems with my windows fogging up. After much tinkering, I found the right setting. So let's dive in. I'm gonna show you what I've discovered. So to defrog your windows, normally you're gonna press this button. You press it once, you get cold air but you want to press it a second time, that blows hot air. And you'll notice something here that happens. If I just show you the settings, you'll see here that it sets it to auto and it causes the air to, uh, to blow up onto the windows to try and defog. And it sets the fan to, you know, relatively high. And that's fine. The problem though, however, is that when you're done defogging your windows and you turn this off, your HVAC settings will go back to whatever temperature you set, but it leaves it to auto. Here's the problem. Auto doesn't work in the winter time to keep your windows defogged. You need to take it off of auto mode because you'll notice here that, of course, if it will stay up, that it doesn't keep the airflow pointed at the windows. So you need to take it off of auto. And here is my settings that I discovered that work for me. First, I direct the airflow to the windows. I leave it on the floor and then I take this off. The reason I take this off is really, I don't need to keep my hands warm, but by preventing some of the airflow from going through these vents, you end up with more airflow because you're blocking off like a third of the airflow. Uh, so you end up with more airflow up in the windows. And then what I will do is I will set the fan speed to suit. So if I get a lot of fogging, I'll just keep it up for you know five or six, maybe even seven or so. But then after a while, when it's defrosted or, de or defogged, I don't need the temperature quite as high, so I'll just kind of back it off until I get the fan speed that I can kind of tolerate. Here's the other thing too. Make sure that recirculate, that's this little icon right here, is not on. It needs to be off. Now the reason you want it off is because recirculate keeps moist air in the cabin and moisture is what goes on your windows and that's what causes the fogging to happen. There is an alternative. If you do turn it on, so if I do turn this on, you can turn on the air compressor, or the um, air conditioner, I should say. The air compressor will take the moisture out of the air, but you know what? In my opinion, this uses more energy. So the only time you really want recirculate on and AC on, let's say you're going through an area where you got, um, I don't know, some bad smells or something like that, this just causes the air to stay in the car um, and keeps the smells out. Yeah, in theory. But the uh, air conditioner is designed to, gosh, I wish it would stay up. So the air conditioner will keep the uh, <laughs> the air from getting too moist in the car. But my opinion here is I turn this off, it uses less energy, it accomplishes the same thing. Now here's another behavior. Watch what happens. So if I leave this on auto, okay, you notice that it goes back to factory settings or whatever settings it thinks is right. And this is the part of the problem. In the winter months in your Tesla, don't leave it on auto take it off because if I go back down here and I put this back onto high and I'm done with it and I turn it off it goes back to this setting if I have auto you're gonna lose this up on the windows and that's what causes the fogging so that works really well for me and I've had zero problems with fogging the moment I set it up like this by the way one more tip for you your mirrors are heated but the heater is tied to the defroster so make sure you turn on the rear defroster so that defrosts your rear window and it will also defrost the uh, mirrors on the side and if you have any moisture buildup or ice and stuff it'll melt that anyways those are the tips for today i hope you enjoyed and uh, we'll talk to you in the next one thanks for watching